I'm really trying myself here with this no edit policy because then sometimes I'll get going and then it's just it's it's like nonsense at some point um so I wanted to make this video for contractors agency owners and you know just service business based so people who are servicing other other folks other establishments without a hired out sales team underneath you without a hired out services team for fulfillment I'm talking just one person many hats because I've been that for many years and uh, it's there's some lessons that I've learned and one of those being that I move in cycles where there's going to be a growth stage and there's going to be a preservation stage or preservative stage where you're trying to retain what you made and in theory that sounds really good that sounds awesome right you made it you're going to retain it and then you're going to get comfortable and then you're going to get back to it and this zigzag formation my thoughts on that as of lately is that it's very inefficient you should never take your foot off the client acquisition gas pedal you should become better at overseeing your entire operation which means deliverables and growth you have to find a balance between the two and maybe you're at the point where you've got to start delegating you got to start hiring out so you bring on somebody for cold outreach and then you bring on somebody for let's say ads implementation so you come up with a strategy and they implement the ads, bing, bang, boom, right? Well, now you have free time. You're able to take a step back. You don't want to pick a side. You want to take a step back. A lot of the times I found myself saying, okay, I'll lead sales. And then, you know, I'm going to get somebody to handle uh, deliverables. And then I go all in on sales. And then I realize we're lacking in deliverables. Let me take my, the, you know, my foot off the pedal here. And I'm going to go into deliverables somebody do sales somebody don't do sales i'm just going to focus over here and then i realized the, the the new mrr is stagnant and eventually goes down while i'm making people very happy over here so my existing customers and clients are really happy with the attention that i'm giving them and at the same time i'm making less money and when i'm over here just making all this money i got a million angry people where do you find the balance in that making sure both are well serviced uh, with the right standard operating procedures and the right level of delegation, you can make sure that it is your primary objective to oversee the operation as a whole. So you oversee deliverables and you oversee sales and you make sure that both of those components are operating efficiently. I think that you are in a great position uh, and you kind of drop that dichotomy, which is jumping over here, jumping over there, because it should be firing at all times. Customer churn is inevitable, right? And there's always opportunity to add MRR every single month. You just need to refine your process and you need to make sure that you are constantly trying to acquire um, and look for the deal flow. You know, they're, they're luckily in this day and age, there is, there is deal flow, there is opportunities out there and you should not miss out on them. You should be exceeding, you should be pushing forward and um, adding in enough marshals and managers and operators underneath you to fulfill those tasks. And if that means you need to build an efficient um, overseas team, then you should see that through. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily go directly to the friend route, uh, especially if you're dealing with tier one people, they have tier one desires. Um, so you've got to you've got to utilize where you are in, in the world, where you are in your, your stage of your company and your growth. Um, I think it's good to have a team of solid implementers so you can be the lead strategist of your company i don't think you should outsource thought work unless it's in an area you're not familiar with legal for example or you know keeping the books extra extra clean we'd obviously want to hire out for that but i'm just talking about like the business in and of itself like visionary officer and then also client success i would i would want to marry those two things um and so yeah I think that just make sure you're always thinking about, I want to increase my staff size. I want to increase my staff size. Keep that mantra going because if you're fire, firing on both cylinders or all cylinders, however that phrase goes, you need to assume that I am going to scale my, higher, my, my, my level of employees because my revenue is gonna increase that much and I'm gonna be you know providing this much value or how, whatever you know kind of gets you there. but. I think that that's cool to think about. I'm always looking to grow. I'm always looking to grow my workforce uh, and maximize my output. 
Um, I think those are awesome things. I'm excited to try it and implement it. And I hope you guys found value in it and can use it in your business. So thanks.